piece of ingredients. This is artist. So in this video, I'm going to talk about or give a tip that um, you can use in order to help develop your own home personal practice. Okay. And this is a big tip. What you want to do is look at your yoga practice and ask yourself why you're doing it. Why are you doing yoga? Are you doing yoga for a physical exercise or are you doing yoga in order to gain some spiritual insight about yourself? If you're doing yoga for a physical exercise, then you need to approach it in that way. As far as maybe playing a lot of loud music and throwing all kind of fun things into it that you want to in order to keep your mind occupied. That way you'll be able to do it every single day because you'll have all of these other outside things attached to it. Now, if you are doing yoga in order to gain some spiritual insight, here is what you can do. The first thing you want to do is turn this into a sadhana, a spiritual practice by creating rituals behind it. One of the rituals that you can do is to say something in the beginning before you do your practice. It can be a poem, it can be a dedication or an offering, whatever it is. But say something right before you do your practice that helps to center you, right? And then you do your practice. Now I'll get into details later about what kind of practice you can do as far as maintaining a set sequence because that's another one of the keys. You want to have a set sequence of poses, be it something that you create yourself or something you adapt from somewhere else. You do that set sequence of poses and as you gain strength and flexibility, you add things and keep progressing, right? That's one of the keys to have a set sequence. But again, back to making this a sadhana, you're saying something in the beginning, you do the practice that you set up for yourself, and then at the end you say something and you sit for a few moments of meditation. Doing this is going to get your mind and your body working together. It's going to yoke them, create the union or the yoga. This is how you create and sustain and maintain a consistent home practice, right? If you have any other questions about that, um, I'll be glad to answer them and you can direct message me, right? So until then, my friends, peace.